I mean, I guess if you say cultural revival to me in this context, I would, yeah, think of the Klezmer Yiddish music revival and Yiddish language revival um, in America. Um, and that's really interesting for me because, you know, all of the people that I read about for years and studied for years are, are all here. So it was kind of mind blowing for me to like, to come and sort of see that, you know, that was my kind of cultural revival to like come to the States and, you know, to meet all these people that I've been reading about for, for all these years, you know, studying or whatever. Um, yeah, I think, it, I think it's really interesting, you know, and it's so connected to, to the movement of people and the way that, you know, people move, move through different places and, are, and arrive in a place and, you know, build up an identity and build up a, a, a culture and a musical tradition um, to the extent that, you know, people have with, with klezmer and Yiddish music. Um, and that's, it, you know, it connects to, to, to what actually draws me to, to Yiddish and to, you know, to Yiddish language and Yiddish music, which is, which is that it's so directly connected to, to the way people move through land and move through territory and, you know, come to different places and arrive somewhere else and move somewhere else. And I think that's, yeah, when I think of cultural revival, then I, I think of I think of movement, you know, because it, it doesn't just happen. It's constantly building and building and building and building, um, in the way that we are here, um, and like constantly constantly moving. And I guess I see that in in a kind of opposition or a dichotomy with with kind of nationalism. Like for me, it's kind of the opposite of that. Um, Adrian did this, you know, amazing interview for for the Yiddish Book Center where she talks about the like the lack of cultural dominance of, of Yiddish and I and, and the draw to it being that, that it isn't this culturally dominant you know thing like entity and I think that's quite a vital um, a vital aspect of it and, and why it is seen in kind of why it should be seen as as a as a kind of opposite end of the spectrum to to the idea that a people are tied to a land because you know, we know that to not be the case, you know, for so many hundreds of years. Um, and that's what's great about coming here. There's so many, like, Yiddish misfits from all, all over the world who, who are sort of tied to all these different places and move, move through identities and move through cultures and musical traditions and kind of gather here and then are scattered again. And um, that, yeah, that's something that's quite relevant to, to cultural revival for me, you know, having these scattered people coming together and then moving back out again and, you know, being so aware of, of, of the way people move and travel. Yeah, and, you know, travel to me has become so much a part of, of my kind of cultural revival of all of this stuff.